hey guys i know that you are doing okay that's why you keep on watching this video so first of all today i wanted to talk about the world and the wilder himself all right so here i've done my best to break down stuff how they work so first of all let's say we have a project x that the name of the project so from that project we need a wilder okay to be part of the project so what we do is we go to the welding engineer okay so the welding engineer according to the project whether it's a build con uh, it's a bridge construction whether it's a train construction whatever it might be then the welder give us what he wants so he wants the the sorry the welding engineer give us what you want so he wants a certain process to be used for that project so it might be tick mma mag and so and so and then you want a certain position according to how the roller will be welding either horizontal position vertical position overhead position or flat position he says his name then he wants the welder to use a certain voltage a certain voltage for that project then here is how it comes then for the world that be part of the project a welder a welder must go and weld this kind of stuff that you see there okay so he's gonna go and weld these two plates these two plates with the specific position that the welding engineer said yeah with the specific process that the welding engineer specified here all right after that after he finishes everything with the specification with the, the voltage everything is done then this is how it comes this is how it comes then for us to qualify the world that we put of the project what we do we come and cut they we cut they we cut maybe they according to the standards that they're going to use the standard codes whether it's iso whether it's asm whether it's aws then from there we come here we come here we are having fields well these are fields well this is kind of what you see there so this is kind of what was the kind kind of all right then we come here we check how this looks like how the world is then we check we realize that there is a failure there i've zoomed in for you on the screen there you can see it you can see it so if i had so if i had to draw lines here so the, to draw straight lines there straight lines here and here as well you can see i'm having that i'm having a point of like side wall fusion so there is a lack of side wall fusion between this welding and then this plate thing so here i'm saying this welder cannot be part of the project unless he goes and welds other plates which says that he can weld using the same process using the same position using the same uh, uh, the same voltage and so and so as specified by the welding engineer so yeah I'm having this kind of problem like the one that you see here please zoom that one in the one that you see here so i see that i have a lack of internal infusions then lack of internal infusion you can see those are the runs where the runs that's run there that's run there so there's a problem of fusion between the two runs between the world in the world so that's one for that i'm gonna say this world is not capable of doing what you have to do in that specific project so then you need to go back and work rewards other plates so that can be part of the project so here i'm going to show you so this here i feel it world. i feel it world. this is single-sided welded this is double-sided welded this is single-sided welded this is actually a full penetration okay this one here has feel it well these are partial penetration partial penetration partial penetration uh full penetration partial penetration partial penetration and these ones here are that world all right so we're gonna talk about world and stuff next time maybe but i wanted you to focus on what you see me, on what you see me. so what does no what does no and then as we know as engineers as technicians as what we are what you might call ourselves it's very important to know how things work so that's when you are exposed to it you know what you have to say you know how you can defend yourself you know how it goes you know how the business is run so you have to know those things so today we're going to talk about 
in WQO, in PQO, and in WPS. Actually, we don't want to be talking about the WQO because I believe last time we spoke about the WQO. So, what you need to know is a WPS is a world procedure specification. It's a blueprint which gives guidance to the welder on how to weld, to do a specific welding uh, uh, with a specific material or alloy. Right. Then, a WQO. A WQO is a welder qualification record. It's a document that specifies, that indicates that the welder has the ability, okay, has the ability, he has the understanding to work within a specified WPS. And then a PQO is a report, PQO is a procedure qualification, uh, procedure qualification record. It's a report of tests. And which test demonstrates that the WPS that has been written is worthy, all right, is worthy to be used for under a specified uh, standard code. Standard code, as I said here, it might be ISO, it might be AWS, it might be uh, 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 ASME, it might be um, uh, the, the, the Canadian Welding Bureau, it might be uh, uh, the, the European Committee. Uh, standards right so it might be that so okay then from there after this has been done so this WPS can be used all right also we need to know that a WPS is a document that allow repeatability of a specification so what I'm talking about repeatability of a specification is how they're going to apply the procedure so here yeah, for, for a wps to be uh, accredited to have the, the accreditation for the wps to have the accreditation this need to be supported by pqr we're talking about tests that are done according to specific standards i mean specific standards okay so the standard might be as in right which is American Society of Mechanical Engineers, it might be uh, AWS, which is American Welding Society, it might be ISO, right, International Standards Organization, or it might be a uh, Canadian Bureau of Welding. Okay, so now with this from the we proceed with the test. So, as for instance, if we have to talk about, let's say, a uh, 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 ISO 15614-1, which is a PQR, which is a PQR code for um, for 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 fillers world, uh, bat world. Mean as so well. Here, as well. if you can check that on my screen, if you can check that on my screen, the so this is what it's telling you. So for ISO, what you need to do, you need to do for a radiographic examination with two, uh, two transverse tensile, uh, tensile tests and uh, uh, four transverse uh, bend tests as well as two sets of impact not forgetting the macrostructure as well as hardness so that is that the basics so if you have to go in more details you need to go on to check on the footnote a b c d whatever it's written there so for instance when you have to do it according to ask me what should you do as you just go for full bend, full bend, with a side bend, or root bend, as well as face bend. Okay, and it goes with uh, two tensile tests. So, for a WPS, we need to have a welder to be part of it, and then uh, a welder which already been already been accredited uh, by passing a WQR, which is a welding a welder qualification record. So a WPS actually for a welder to be passed with WQ, a WPS, you need to pass a WQR, which demonstrates that the welder has the understanding and the ability to work within a specified WPS. Right. So it's very important to know how these things work because 
we're not talking about WPS, PQR, WQR, we're talking about drains, we're talking about wealth. Nowadays, the world is the, the, the biggest part of joint that's being used in this world. So we need to know how that is being done so that when you're exposed to it, you know how it works. So you know how it works. I'm going to give a small resume here. So ask me, nine requires for a bat word, a bat word, or groove word, groove word, I'm talking about full penetration, complete penetration, complete penetration joint. So it requires two tensile, two tensile, sorry, four bend, right? There might be side bend, four of them. There might be two face bend, two face bend, and two bend. So now AWS, which is American Society, American, American Welding Society, requires two tensiles, two tensiles. Four bands, which might be four side bands, two facing roots. For, but AWS gives a, a window to other addition that will be developed later in another video, of course. So I saw requires for a basics of two tensiles, four bands, which might be four side bends, two face, two roots, by a total of four, one macro, right, two set of impact, depending if there is provision of impact in the specified material that is being used here, and then plus hardness. Hardness also, it excludes group 1.1 right as you can go in footnotes to know more about how it is to know more about how it is right so yeah so basically this is how it is right so this is how it is so it was a great pleasure of mine to share this video with you i hope that you guys gonna enjoy it so we have already enjoyed it and uh, as i've already been saying we're gonna be sharing a lot of stuff here uh, mathematics, uh, science. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because you're gonna miss, you're gonna miss a lot. And uh, for now, I'm gonna ask you to take care of yourselves and uh, see you for the next video. Cheers, bye.